do-it-yourself project out of a computer fan, a Tupperware or some sort of container, and a tube. I'm going to use this. Um, it's ideal for these things to have some type of bend to them. Uh, this vitamin bottle did not, so I'm going to cut it at a 45 degree angle and put them together to make a 90 degree angle uh, because this will be attached to the top of the Tupperware in the end. Go ahead and slice through that. Be careful though if you're using something like this. And there we go. Now this plastic on the bottom is quite thick and I know soldering irons are not meant to be used this way but I had to do what I had to do to get a hole here um, because this is going to be like a vent for our USB powered air condition or cold blowing unit. As you can see it took a little bit of work to get through that thick plastic but uh, your situation may be different but this is pretty much what it's going to look like. There we go. 90 degree angle. We have a small vent. And we're just going to glue the uh, two halves together. So I put some glue on uh, both of the edges, put them together, held them in place. And uh, then you want to glue the outside again so that it's airtight. There we go. This glue does dry pretty strong too, so and you can get rid of the lid. Now we need the lid from our Tupperware. Uh, this is where we're going to make our holes. Uh, just make a circular hole about the same size as the opening of the bottle. By any means necessary. Scissors, soldering iron. I even used a razor blade as well. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we're going to seal it up with a little bit of uh, hot glue anyway. So. Uh, then on the other side, we're going to cut a square shape slightly larger. This is going to be for our PC fan. We can go ahead and fit the bottle or tube uh, vent in place and seal the bottom. That way it's airtight. And go ahead and seal the top as well. And there we go. Everything is nice and connected. This is what it's going to look like. So then we have our PC fan. You're going to want the power and ground wires. Our USB cable. We're also going to want the power and ground wires. And we're just going to connect them. We can go ahead and twist the like wires together. There we go and solder them in place. You don't have to solder, you can just tape them, but uh, I like to solder. I'm not good at it, but I like it. And then we're just going to tape the solder joints to make sure that uh, they don't touch, short out something in our PC probably, I, I don't know, we just, you're just supposed to cover it. So we'll cover it. And there we go, our computer fan turns on by USB, so uh, now we need to find the direction of the fan. Most time there is an indication on the fan by an arrow pointing uh, which way the air will come out. So we're going to take our Tupperware, fill it with ice, two or three handfuls, and put the lid on and seal it shut. Plug in our USB, turn it on, direction pointing into the Tupperware, and there we go. Air will flow out of the vent. You can prop this up on a desk. It is cold. You can make this on a larger scale, out of a five gallon bucket. Uh, dry ice usually works pretty well in large quantities and a fan. And uh, kind of a do it yourself last minute air condition. That's pretty much it.